Hello, everyone. We're back. E.T. Shop Videos. I'm Emily. You might remember me from assembling the breadboard before. And here, this is, here we have, we have the breadboard as it comes in the package. And some of you might be thinking, well, gosh, how do I get it out of the package? How do I put it together so that I can make stuff that ends up looking like this? Check the link below. You can make this. Follow the link below. Okay, so here we go. Here's your basic breadboard. Some of you might be wondering, it's ROHS. George, what's ROHS? Reduction of hazardous substances. Reduction of hazardous substances. That's nice to know. While you're making your breadboard, you can be helping the environment. Okay, so you're going to need some needle-nose pliers here because there are a couple staples in your packaging. There we are. There's one. There's the other. And I just did my nails. I don't want to chip anything. So here we go on to the back. Now some of you may be thinking, wait a second, I could just cut, get some scissors and cut this open. But there's a reason that you want to preserve the plastic. It makes a very, very handy container for holding your pieces that you might later put into your breadboard. So carefully undo the staples. You don't need to keep the staples. You don't need to keep those. But we do need to recycle them. Yes, we will recycle them. Absolutely. Because we are thinking about the environment. We are thinking about the environment. So, put those aside. And, da da da. Oh, hang on a second. What's this? Piece of metal. Why isn't it attached to the breadboard? What's this spongy thing on the back? wonder what it could be. What is this piece of metal, George? That's going to adhere to the back of the breadboard and hold the uh, connectors in place. Oh, that makes sense. Why okay. don't you have them look at the back of a breadboard? Oh. I have one there. For yes, me. there is one here. So that's what the underside of the breadboard looks like. With the always, sticky tape remover. With the sticky tape removers. Pretty neat, huh? There we go. Okay, so in order to stick this piece of metal on, you have to carefully move the white plastic film on the top. Not the foam. Yeah, that's the adhesive. Please, George. They should practice lining it up first. Oh, that's because a good idea. if we take that off, it's going to stick to their that's right. table or okay. the, the wall. And now, the easiest way to do this is if you bend up the cardboard, and then what you need to do is line up the metal on the adhesive. Now you don't want to line it up, focus, there we go, right with the edge of the breadboard, you want to line it up with the adhesive. Why would you want to line it up with the adhesive and not the breadboard, George? Uh, it's very important because you might want to interconnect a couple of breadboards. Hey. I would also like to add that you should practice lining it up for for some time, whatever time you need. Okay. Emily has a lot of experience. She I did do. 60 of these last I week. I did. So. I did put a lot of these together. She's showing okay. off a little bit here. So what, your metal, as soon as it autofocuses, it's really hard to see. Your metal needs to be lined up, like I said before, with the foam, not with the outside of the breadboard. Once you think you've practiced enough and you've got it ready, you can remove the white peely part. The foam adhesive is still on there. I'm just pulling off the top plastic coating. I put that aside. Don't need this. And then carefully lining up. Here's a good idea. If you have long hair, you should probably tie that back first, because it might get in the way. Then once you've got it lined up, push it down, push it down hard. You want that sucker stuck. There you go. Now it's stuck on your breadboard. You don't need the cardboard bit, though, so you can actually pull that off. There's just a little bit of glue on the cardboard. And there you go. What's that written on the cardboard? What's what written on the... Oh! Solderless breadboard. Huh. What does that mean? 
They hid the they hid the product name from us. They did. That was not. Are there any instructions? Not in very name? good product development. No, there's not. It's all but you know something? I'm supposed to do. This is an excellent breadboard, but for that minor little thing, this is why we're providing this video. Okay. Right. The reason it does say solderless breadboard is because it means you don't need to solder anything in order to connect it. Inside the breadboard are these little clippy things. Focus. 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 One, two, three. It's trying. Try to focus. There we go. Got it. Little clippy things. They're like uh, they're like clothes pegs. And they, here's a clear view, a clear breadboard. They will hang on to all the wires, as many wires as you want to put in. But hey, how many wires could you put in? How many holes are on this breadboard? Let's count. No, I'm kidding. That's going to take forever. Oh, let's count. This is the fun part. Ah, one, two, three, four, no, five. No, no, no. Do some math. I don't think that's going to work. Look for patterns. What you can see on here is there are numbers. The rows are numbered on the breadboard, on this solderless breadboard. And if you look down, there are 63 rows and five columns on this side and five on this side. So that means 10 in total. So in this centerpiece, there are, what, well, let's see, 63 times 10, 630. Okay, but what about these side pieces? How many are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 groups of 10, 100, 200, and 630. That means 830 holes on this lovely here breadboard. That you can do wonderful things with. Can like I ask make a question? Circuits. Yes, George. If you're putting a wire in like that gray wire, which has two ends on it, mm -hmm. how many unique connections can you make oh on my, that breadboard? Oh my goodness! Let's leave them. Let's leave that for home. That's a bit of. That's a lot of. That's mean. You'd be a mean teacher, George. That's a lot of hard homework. I make them think. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay, so there we are. Your piece of metal is stuck on the back, nicely lined up with the adhesive, stuck down nice and nice and solid. You kept the clear plastic container in case you want to use it as a convenient container to hold your little pieces together. Talk about the bread clips. Oh, I've, I've and what, sh what should we do with, with, our, with our garbage, George? What should we do? You should recycle the cardboard. Definitely recycle. But I've also seen some students um, use the package and the backing to hold their bread. Ah, very clever. Use this as well. Possible. Right. Anything to add, George, before we wrap up um, this video? Have fun breadboarding. Have fun breadboarding. Okay. Da -da -da -da.